Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be a fun day. I'm not working out and I don't have work. So it's just gonna be like a chill day, especially because last night, I had such a rough night last night. I went to bed kind of early because my eyes were being like super sensitive to light and I just figured it was because of using my ring light for class sometimes with my blue eyes. Like when I'm staring at a lot of light for long periods of time, my eyes can get a little bit tired. So I was like, let me just like get off my phone, get off a TV and like, I didn't even have the attention span to read. So I just was like, all right, let's go to bed. And as I was going to bed, my head started hurting, but I fell asleep and around 4 a.m. I woke up with a migraine. I was like super nauseous. My head was like pounding. I'm like such a deep sleeper, like literally nothing wakes me up. So like if that shows how much pain I was in. um, <laughs> Yeah, so it was crazy. I woke up, had to get Tylenol. I had a really hard time going back to sleep. I just was like in so much pain. So I slept in until like 10.30 this morning. Thank God Randall didn't even wake me up or anything. I think he knew I was in pain. So today I was gonna do like a lot more, but I'm still not like feeling great. Like my eyes are still pretty sensitive to light and everything. I, my original plan for today was to go vintage shopping for furniture, but I asked on my Instagram and no one really had any like recommendations I'm looking for like vintage or like maybe antique. I don't know what the right word is, but basically just like used furniture that's like pretty and unique and not super, super expensive. Like I don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I just need a new um, bedside table. Well, not a new one. I just need a bedside table. And um, I've been looking on like West Elm and CB2 and Facebook Marketplace and Target and all of those good places, but I haven't really found one that I absolutely love so i was like hoping to find one in an antique shop or something just because i want something unique and i haven't been able to find one so that plan is out the window for today at least but i think i'm going to head to oak and fort there's this girl on tiktok who has like the best style it's like modern old money if that makes any sense like classic styles but still cute and trendy and like fun and she shops a lot of times at oak and fort and i didn't even realize that they had a shop in new york city i thought it was just an online boutique but i guess they have a store so i figured i would go to that they open at noon i think it's like 11 30 so i think i'm just gonna chill until then i will show you guys my outfit before i head out okay guys so this is the fit so i have these free people sunglasses on because of my migraine i can't see any light so let's shield the eyes um i've got just little hoops on i've got my set active brown sweatshirt tied around my shoulders although it's like curly oh god it's like falling off but that's what we've got going and then i have this aritzia brown silk slip dress which i absolutely love this dress and i feel like i haven't worn it enough this summer so that's like my goal before it starts to get cold is to wear it more because it's so comfortable it's so cute and flattering and like adorable and i spent enough money on it i need to be wearing it so i'm wearing it more and then i have my nike dunks and then i'm going to be pairing it with my jwpei however you say that will pay bag Hailey Bieber wore this bag in Paris a few weeks ago so I thought this was going on the outs but apparently not yeah so let's head to Oak and Fort hopefully I will find some cute pieces maybe some fall pieces I know it's a little bit early um, and then maybe like a dress or two for Florida just because I don't have a lot of throw on dresses I keep buying like skin tight dresses and as great as those are and they're cute and everything the minute you feel bloated like you just don't want to wear them so I just need more like loose fitting chill comfy dresses so that's my goal also I got Dunkin Donuts this morning just to make sure I have enough caffeine so again my headache doesn't come back so I'm gonna bring my if you can see it my Dunkin Donuts with me god nothing in this world is better than Dunkin Donuts so yeah that is what we are going to do today so let's head to oak and fort so that was an epic fail i guess it's closed and it isn't there anymore so now i think i'm just gonna bop into some stores while i'm in soho and then head back
So I am back from shopping around. I'm so upset, I guess Oaken Fort is closed and it's no longer there, which is really upsetting because I wanted to see it in person. I guess I'm just gonna have to order stuff online. But their maps and everything says that they were open or Google Maps or whatever, so I was really confused. And I like walked past it like three times. People th probably thought I was lost. Let me show you guys what I got. So I decided because I was all, all the way in Soho, I might as well just like kind of bop around. The first place I went to is Kiki Chic. I absolutely love their jewelry. Like uh, it's so good. It's pretty affordable. It's not like the cheapest thing on the world, but their stuff like really doesn't tarnish and um, stays really good. And it's pretty good like quality. I don't think I don't have any of their stuff on me actually today, which is rare. Yeah, it's just really cute and they've got unique stuff. They get new stuff all the time. And it's just like a great place to get like trendy, cute, gold, dainty stuff that is like somewhat of a good quality that doesn't like tarnish and things. So the first thing that I got are a pair of earrings and I'm only going to use one, but it's this, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a baguette little diamond and I have a piercing right here. Um, and I tried putting a hoop there, but I think it's like in a weird placement. So the hoops never like stay. So I'm excited to put that on my ear. And then I got this cute diamond well diamond-esque net uh, like choker i thought it'd just be really cute even just with like a little t-shirt or a dress out i feel like it could be really dressed up and dressed down just like a fun stackable kind of piece and then i got a free gift which is pretty cool so they have like a loyalty program we get like a punch every single time you buy something and then you get a free gift and so i got this little tiny huggy I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that that has like rainbow diamonds on it and i just thought it was so stinking cute kind of a little colorful for me but i feel like i don't know i just thought it was kind of fun and it was like the best thing out of the free gifts so or at least in my opinion the next place i went was this store i can never say it right so so i don't know i don't know how to say it don't judge me i wanted to get some soap for my bathroom just because, I don't know, something about this is, is like super bougie and I feel like when people come over it'll be so nice to have like really nice hand soap. Thomas has this hand soap and I don't know, it just like smells so good and I'm kind of in the process of getting new bathroom stuff just because I want my bathroom to be a little more like luxurious. I need a new shower curtain and I want to get like a tray behind my toilet that has like this and like other cute little stuff so i picked that up if you haven't smelt the soap it like is the best smelling soap ever and i do believe that they are a pretty sustainable company so whatever then i went to the dog store of course because i am going to florida next week and so randall will be coming with me and he's going to be in his carrier so i want to make sure that he has like activities to do and stuff for the plane the first thing i got are these wipes if you don't know i wipe randall's feet and like undercarriage and tail every single time he comes inside from a walk just because i have a white carpet and it's kind of gross it's like you wouldn't walk barefoot on new york city and then walk in someone's house would you so i like to wipe his paws off i really like these ones partly just because they're sanitizing wipes. So I feel like it gets off a lot of the germs a lot better than just normal wipes would. They're pretty good and sensitive for his skin. Now to the fun stuff for the plane. I got him a hoof. He likes those. I got him a bully stick. I got him this peanut butter flavored bone. I got him these no hides. These are like his absolute favorite. And then I got some Himalayan chews. Obviously, he's not going to eat all of those on the plane ride. That would be like so much for his stomach, but I like to give him a bunch of options just in case he's a little fussy. Sometimes he gets fussy in the airport when he's in his bag and on the plane before we take off. Just like when the plane isn't moving, he tends to get a little bit antsy, and so I like to have a, just a bunch of activities, honestly, for my anxiety so that I feel like I'm not disturbing people um, and also that he's not like suffering. So that's what I did and then I went to juice press and I got my lunch from juice press so I got an acai bowl I got the blue spirulina one and I got chia seeds goji berries flax seeds and chocolate chips on the top which I'm really excited to eat that 
I just feel like I need to eat some nutrients, especially after my, um, I was supposed to say my hangover, my migraine. I feel kind of like almost hungover, so I feel like I need to just eat like a lot of minerals and stuff. It, I feel like it came on yesterday between the lights, stress, and not eating a lot. Um, just because if you saw my last vlog, it was kind of a shit show. So yeah. And then I got these chocolate chip cookies. I thought that these would be good just to like snack on. They're super healthy. They only have dark chocolate, vanilla, cashew, arrowroot, mes, mesquite. I don't know how to say that. Mesquite? I don't know. Maple and sea salt. So I figured these are just a bit cute little snack. So that is all I got. Actually, you know what? Let's give Randall a bone because he's been pretty good today. So let's give him a bone. I'm gonna give him, maybe I'll give him one of these Himalayan shoes. These tend to last a really long time. If you have these, they're really, really great for dogs because, well, first of all, I don't really get everywhere like a lot of bones, which are like kind of gross, I think, if they're like all over your couch and whatnot. But what I like about them is when they get too small, you can take them away from them and then pop them in the microwave and then they puff up and it becomes like a treat. So Randall seems to really like them. They're pretty good and just good for their teeth and chewing. So let's give them a boon. Boon, sit, sit, down, sit, sit. That's very good. So it's like an hour later. I think I'm gonna head to Chelsea and stop in at the container store. And I also think the Bed Bath & Beyond there has reopened. It like closed during COVID, I think, to do like construction um, while like people weren't like shopping as much. So I think I'm gonna walk there. I need a new shower curtain. Mine has just gotten like kind of gross. It's also too short for my shower. So I always have to put a towel on the ground whenever I like get in my shower because it's too short. So I think I'm gonna head there. And I also just kind of want some like bathroom accessories. I really want like a marble tray. Hold on, let me show you guys. Cause I want, um, a marble tray for my bathroom so that like my soap and stuff has a place to like sit here you guys can get a better view of this like i just think first of all this is the new soap container it looks so cute on here and i have a little candle and so i kind of want to get like a little marble tray for either the windowsill or behind my toilet um and then maybe get some lotion or something just for when people come over and things like that and then this is my shower curtain right now and i kind of just want one that i don't know i don't know i feel like i want a different vibe but also it is like getting all stained like i don't know if you guys can see the bottom of that like look at that stain it's so gross and i think it's just from water just being like puddled over there so i'm gonna check for a new one of those and a marble soap tray and see what else I find so let's head to Chelsea. Baby, you've been racing through my mind. It is the next day. Um, I didn't finish vlogging yesterday, which I will show you guys the stuff that I got from TJ Maxx when I get back from the doctors. Um, I just like have not been feeling good, and yesterday I almost like fainted in TJ Maxx, so I just kind of stopped vlogging. Um, but I'm going to the doctors now just to get a COVID test because I'm heading out tomorrow to go to Florida. So I want to make sure that I don't have COVID, especially because I'm seeing my pregnant sister. So yeah. Also, I posted like a TikTok last night about women's gymnastics leotards and it literally went viral. It has like 60,000 views, which is just like insane. Um, TikTok algorithm is crazy. So I've just been like filming some of that this morning and editing vlogs and all that stuff. But now I need to head to the doctor to go get my COVID test, so let's do it. So I just got back from my COVID test. It wasn't that bad, thank God. Um, but I figured I would show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx yesterday. So let me show you. So the first thing I got was this fruit bowl. I'm like actually obsessed with it. I think it'll look a lot better when there is a bunch of fruit in it. Obviously I'm leaving for Florida, so I don't have a ton of fruit, but I always have a ton of fresh produce and this way it'll just be on my counter and it'll be easy to grab. And I don't know, I just think it looks like really cute and fun. So I don't know, I thought it was adorable. The next thing I got was this sink stopper. Because I don't have a disposal, sometimes I get like, this is so gross, but like food and stuff and this is, will just make it a lot easier instead of the metal one, which takes like forever to clean off. 
Um, and then I also got this from Amazon recently. It's by Simple Human. And I used to have a little thing over here for all this stuff, but I think it just looks better when you like walk into my apartment to like not really see that. This is a little more hidden um, and a little bit more minimalist. So I'm definitely gonna do that. I definitely wanna get, well, I think I'm gonna get another one of the same soaps that I have in the bathroom for my sink and a new paper towel thing. I love this one, but look at it, it's so broken. Um, it has come to from New York to LA to LA to New York so it has done a lot of time so it's probably time that I need a new one um and then the next thing that I got is this tray I thought it was gonna look so cute with the soap which I hope you guys think it does too um I thought it looked like very antique I love the gold outside and the silver inside I don't know I just think it's really really cute and it was only six dollars like it was such a stinking steal so that is what I got from TJ Maxx. I also ordered a new shower curtain and shower liner from Target, and I think it's supposed to come today. I'll have to double check, but I think it is. It's just like a plain white one, nothing crazy. I just figured going simple is best because the bathroom is really small. I'll check back in with you guys when that, um, well, I'll show it to you guys when it gets here. Hopefully it gets here today or at least before my Florida trip. Um, and then I just ordered a bagel from Murray's Bagel, which is like my favorite bagel place in New York. Actually, my favorite bagel place downtown in New York City. I got a really kind of interesting bagel order. So I'll share it with you guys when it comes here. So I'll check back in with you when the bagel's here. Before my bagel gets here, I also forgot to tell you guys that I like just checked my TikTok page and one of my TikToks was about to hit 100K and it just got taken down for like community guidelines. I'm like so upset because I was like, the most viewed TikTok that I've ever done. And it was just about like the US women's gymnastics Leos. And I just called them chuggy. I didn't even think that was like hate speech. So I made it an appeal and hopefully it'll be put back on my page. Um, but yeah, so I'm super upset about that. But anyway, I'll check back in with you guys when my bagel is here. My bagel's here. I'm so excited. I like love bagels and I don't treat myself that often to bagels for how much I want them. I do treat myself a lot with them. Um, I got a diet peach snapple, absolutely love diet peach snapple. It's like my favorite drink ever. That's a lie, it's like my top 10 favorite drinks. Um, I hate this packaging though, like I don't like it. I wish they'd go back to the glass bottles. My interesting bagel order, I got an everything bagel toasted with tofu cream cheese, tomato, onion, avocado, and lettuce. And I think maybe cucumber too. Look at that. Are you kidding? That looks so good. I need to take a picture of that. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Hold on, I'm gonna take a picture of it and then I will give you guys a taste test. All right, let's try this. I've heard this is really good. I've heard someone talk about it. I think maybe on TikTok or something, but it looked really good. All right, let's give this a whirl. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is so good. It really like spices up the tofu cream cheese and makes it more of a meal. Cause sometimes I feel like when I just have a bagel with tofu cream cheese, I'm like not fully satisfied. And this is like amazing. This is phenomenal. Okay, well I'm gonna eat this and I'll check back in with you guys later today. I just finished my bagel and it was like so good. Now I'm debating if I should get in the shower and like shave and exfoliate because I think I want to self tan today just because I think I'm not gonna have enough time tomorrow to do it and I don't like sleeping in it because then my sheets get all gross so I think I'm gonna shower shave exfoliate wait an hour put my self tanner on and then shower before I go to bed tonight but it's just so much work so much work I don't want to do it but I'm gonna do that so I'll check back in with you guys after I get out of the shower and probably after I tan. So hopefully I look a little bit better than this, especially if I'm not to be in a bathing suit. So let's do it. So I just finished tanning. Hopefully I look a little tanner. I mean, I didn't do my face though, but my arms, maybe a little tanner. Um, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here just because I want to get this all uploaded and everything before my flight tomorrow, just so tomorrow I can really just pack and focus on getting to Florida and everything. I'm really excited. The next vlog 
after this will be a Florida vlog. So get excited for that, a little pool time, a little beach time, maybe some shopping, who knows what we're gonna get into. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.